Criminal investigations, George Kinoti has denied revisiting the 2007-2008 post-election violence cases. A few hours after several MPs allied to Deputy President William Ruto called out the DCI boss for profiling Ruto, saying the move was state-sponsored to limit DP Ruto's presidential ambitions. Musa Sala has the details. Na wengine, tunawajua. The announcement of the Director of Criminal Investigations, George Kinoti, on Monday to revive the trial cases of those involved in the violent aftermath of the 2007-2008 general election has been received with mixed reactions, with the Tanga Tanga faction of the Jubilee Party, allied to Deputy President William Ruto, claiming that the move is aimed at dividing Kenyans ahead of the 2022 general election. Yesterday's public statement by Director of Criminal Investigations, George Kenoti, is yet another installment of the Zillas and Ticks, staged purely for cheap publicity to anchor partisan political narratives and fuel divisive agendas. The players of Uhuru succession, who are deep inside the government, Arched plans like you read in our statement, starting from corruption, instigated charges, removal of leaders. Now the last card they have, the last card, because they have realized BBI doesn't work. Mm. The last card they have is to instigate violence in the rift. Liwe liwalo. Wapate wongozi. Wakose wongozi. Lakini wa Kenya wawe sipigana tenu. Especially, mayo ndataja lewe, especially wakikuyu na kalinji. We will not re-rent and we will not allow as leadership this kind of shenanigans that we saw yesterday. The leaders adding that the move is also aimed at profiling DP Ruto, throwing him off balance in the race to State House in 2022. In 2013 to 2017, I was Lakini kwanzia 2017, siku ya kwanza wakati tuliapishu, hata before tuapishu, hiki silani yote ikanza. On his part, D.P. Ruto, through his Twitter page, said that the announcement was an attempt to resuscitate the tribal divisions bridged by the Hasla movement. However, the National Women's Steering Committee, led by Daisy Amdani, has welcomed the move, further cautioning the government against using the cases as an avenue to attack political opponents. We know that more than anything, women have been crying for the perpetrators of this electoral violence to be made to account for it. But there has been a lack of political will. We need to address issues of post-election violence. This ought to be done, but it must not be done in a politically skewed way as a means to uh, attack political opponents. But through a statement to newsrooms, Kinoti denied revisiting the 2007-2008 post-election violence cases, saying that it was an acknowledgement of concerns raised by Kenyans to investigate imminent threats to national security. Musa Salah, TV 47.